been a while since uh, I made a video on the corn spiral. We've been pretty busy this morning. It's uh, Friday, June 4th, and uh, basically we had to start over, unfortunately. The soil that we received was uh, really not viable. It was not what we needed, and um, this everything was not doing well. So. We actually got a, a brand new mix of amazing soil from Lemieux composting. Um, it's called a Bello mix. It was a couple from Garden River who who developed that mix, and apparently it's become one of the most popular mixes that they carry. One of the only mixes that is asked for anymore. So, fortunately, facilities has been really patient. They have offered to help and are helping um, to you know start over with some really, really good soil. You can see it's over there. And we've already mixed in 70 bags of sheet manure, which is uh, really some of the best stuff for fertilization. You know, starting over with the project uh, is never fun, but uh, from my perspective, I'd rather um, ensure a successful season than kind of work with what we have. The other problem was the design. So uh, I've, I've not been here in this climate and for some reason I just expected lots of rain that um, we would we would be getting lots of rain and that the irrigation channels that we made in the past would really feed the um, areas that we planted. It's kind of unfortunate that I lost the beans um, we did take out the sunflower and the tobacco that was in here, so I do think those are going to be able to be salvaged. Um, but uh, all the corn seed that I put in here already, it's already, uh, it's, it's gone essentially. It might come up still, you never know. Might get some, um, might get some ones that made it through this process of uh, basically rototilling the entire area. And then um, Rick Perella here from Facilities at Algoma university he's uh he's leveling it all out look it's uh just the way she goes sometimes with land-based work with any project any experiment you learn from the mistakes fortunately i learned with enough time that we are still going to be able to plant we are still going to be able to have a growing season um i feel i feel okay about it it was a tough decision to decide to you know take all those uh, 20 trellises out and and um, realize that I'm gonna lose these seeds, but um, I, I want to make this the best possible chance for a great growing season. And now that we got uh, some really really great soil that we're gonna put in here, and we got the help of facilities, I, I think um, we're absolutely gonna have success. But more to come. Thank you. 